Hello, I'm Aaron Leventhal of Hero Arts. Have you ever wondered how we make woodblock stamps? Well, I'm here to tell you. Uh, the first step in the process of making wood stamps is to come up with an illustration or a design. And we've got four excellent design team members here today who are working on it, which we will show you. And they're currently in the creative process talking through different designs they're doing. And actually behind me is one of my favorite illustrations that they've recently done. All right, after the illustrations are complete, we then turn them into a magnesium metal plate. It's very durable and this lasts a long time. This becomes our archive. And so, so this isn't damaged. We then actually use a Bakelite plate. You put it through a rubber stamp press and you get an impression and this becomes your workhorse. Once you have this piece, this Bakelite plate, Bakelite is in your microwave oven in your car door. You then put sheets of rubber onto the Bakelite and put it right into our World War II solid American steel rubber stamp presses where it gets pressed like an oven with pressure, about 2,000 pounds of pressure, about 350 degrees of heat, and out comes the rubber that we actually use for our stamps. All right, next we're gonna cut our own wood blocks. Our wood blocks are actually from maple in the, in the northeast of the US. Uh, it's cabinet grade maple, and we use a rip saw to create strips. So a wide piece becomes a certain size strip. We also, if you notice here, we get a profile on it, and that's with uh, the, the purpose of being able to hold your block, and that's done with a shaper. And once we have these strips at the right length, the right width, we then put them through our chop saw. Our chop saw is currently not running, but basically it's a hands-off process where you stack the strips right here, and it goes through mnemonics, hands-off, and out come the actual blocks that are going to be used for our wood stamps. The only thing that we have left at the end is sawdust. And sawdust is actually something that allows our green process to continue because that goes to dumps to allow dumps to actually naturally biodegrade using organic materials. So with the sustainable wood blocks that we use and the sawdust, we feel like we're doing our, our part for the environment. Back to the rubber. So this is what has come out of the uh, rubber stamp presses that we saw. And these are the actual designs, which next gets mounted onto um, an undermount so that you actually have some padding so that when you ink your rubber, it doesn't leave a marking from the side of the wood block or the extra rubber itself. This is a double adhesive, water-based adhesive, no chemicals in it, that allows our all natural rubber adhesive on one side and the wood adhesive on the other so it sticks together for a lifetime of stamping. And believe it or not, our rubber, once it's been mounted, is all hand cut. As you can see here, she's gonna cut this out by hand. And here's an example of detailing out all the excess rubber that we don't need so that when you stamp, you get a perfect impression every time. Next, once the rubber's cut, we then mount it by pulling off the back strip and using the wood adhesive and put it right on the label, perfectly aligned. Given that they have so much experience putting these together, it's right and oriented perfectly every time. All right, now we're to the labeling process. So we buy our labels with special wood adhesive, water-based wood adhesive. Uh, these labels have post-consumer content as well as are fairly capturable in the process. So we do our best for the environment in this process as well. And this label then gets applied directly to the wood itself. And so when you have a finished stamp, you have a beautiful label uh, on your stamp, uh, UV protected for long lasting stamping. All right, and so now we have our finished stamps with the beautiful label, uh, elegantly cut rubber all ready to be sold in a store near you and for you to pick it up and stamp them to your heart's delight. 
All right, before we conclude, there's two more types of rubber stamps that we actually make. We make a cling stamp that is pressed in the same way that a wood stamp is, except we don't mount it on wood. Instead, we use a special cling mount material that allows you to use it without a wood block on an acrylic mount or place flat on the table so it sticks in place for you to ink it. And these are the labels we use for that. And in addition to that, we also take some of our stamps and we make them into wood sets. So multiple stamps in packaging in a beautiful presentation that includes anywhere from two to three to seven to a dozen or even 18 stamps in one package. Well, that concludes the tour of Hero Arts and how we make woodblock stamps. This is something that we've been doing since 1974 when we were founded. And it's something that is in some ways a little bit of a dying part of the rubber stamp industry, which has given way to cling um, and then clear stamps and dyes and many other things. But wood stamps remain the heart of the stamping industry. And thus, thank you for taking a tour with me of how this artisan and old style of stamping is still alive and alive and well today at Hero Arts. Thank you for visiting, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.